Hi and welcome back to our channel. I make the most soft and juicy goose and duck roast. And therefore in this video I would like to show you step by step how I prepare it. I hope that this might come in handy before the Christmas day. In this video I will be using a bird uh, with a 2.2 kilo weight but I'm also going to give you instructions how to make smaller and bigger birds. For those additional instructions uh, you're going to need to click on the link that I put in the description box down below to my cooking blog. The first step for making roasted goose or duck is to prepare the stuffing. My stuffing contains a white bread roll, egg, chives, salt and milk. Preparing stuffing is actually pretty straightforward. You just cut the bread rolls into cubes. Then you want to warm up the milk a little bit. Pour it all over the bread cubes. This makes them a bit softer. And then you can add the eggs, chives and salt. Mix it all together and your stuffing is ready. Now let's just prepare the duck or goose. So first we're gonna tap uh, the bird dry. I am tapping actually every side and every part with a paper towel. If your duck has still giblets, you want to remove them. I also always remove the bottom part of the duck as well as the excess skin and the skin from the neck. Next, you want to check the skin and remove the rests of the feathers. Then we're going to stuff the duck. So first, we're going to put a generous amount of salt inside the duck. Then we're going to take this uh, bread roll mixture and we're going to stuff the bird. For two to three kilo bird, I would use three bread rolls for four to five I would definitely use four bread rolls and for more I would go for five and then we're gonna take a needle and a thread and we're gonna sew together this opening so the stuffing doesn't come out while roasting I am always using dark thread because it's easier to see it and to remove it after roasting If your duck or goose has thick skin, I would recommend to poke it uh, with a needle or knife so the excess fat can find its way out. Next, we're gonna season the bird with a good amount of salt from every side. And then if you want your bird to look really nice on the plate, you're gonna use the thread and uh, make the wings stick to the body, if you know what I mean. And then you also want to bind the legs. So this is how it looks like. If that is too complicated for you, you can always only bind the legs. It is your choice what you would like to do. Then we're going to put the goose on the rack breast down and then we're going to put it into cold oven. We're going to place the Dutch oven. This is where the fat and the drippings will drip. Then we're going to turn the oven to 160 degrees Celsius. That is 320 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to roast the duck for 45 minutes. After this time, we're going to remove the Dutch oven from the oven. And we want to pour the fat into a separate bowl. You might keep it or not, as you like. Then we're going to add one glass of cold water into the Dutch oven and we're going to put it back to the oven. After 45 minutes, we're going to remove the Dutch oven again and we're going to repeat the process. So first remove uh, the fat and the drippings and then pour the cold water into the Dutch oven and place it underneath the duck. Then after 30 minutes, we were ready to turn the bird. And this time after 30 minutes, repeat the process again. The timing of uh, the end of this process might be different depending how big your bird is. 
some of the drippings are still stuck uh, at the bottom of the Dutch oven. So I heat it up a bit so they could dissolve in this liquid. Then I put everything through sieve. I don't have a fat and gravy separator, I just put uh, the drippings and the fat into a bag. You can see here that the bottom part are the juices from the duck and the other part is the fat. And then I cut it to one edge and remove the juices. You can see how messy that was. But well, it was really worth it because it was so delicious. And by the way, I do have much more gravy because I actually used the gravy that I actually showcased how to make a head of gravies, uh, four of them in my previous video. So if you are interested how to make those, I'm gonna link this video down below. And then after 30 minutes to make the skin crispy and shiny, I brushed it with a cold and salted water and put it in the oven for 15 minutes and I use also a grill function. And there you go, that was the result. That was one of the juiciest ducks that we have ever had. The duck breast was so tender that it was seriously a dream. We have also utilized the stuffing uh, because I haven't even prepared uh, potato dumplings. We cut the stuffing into slices and we fried it in the pan. So those were our bread dumplings that we had with it. If making roasted duck is too much for you, I've got also a recipe that shows you exactly how to make only duck legs and only duck breast. I will put the links to those recipes in the description box down below. Both of those recipes are for sure less uh, time and work consuming. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video and now you know exactly how to make your own duck or goose roast. This is actually the last video for this year and therefore I would love to wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I really hope that it's gonna be filled with a wonderful hours with your family and friends and also delicious food, whatever that might be to you. I am actually taking creative break for a few weeks um, and uh, let's just see in the new year what I'm gonna come up with. I really hope that you're also gonna take some break and then start new year with a new energy. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon. <laughs> Bye!